I have excellent news, in my opinion. It may not agree with the electrical engineers in the room, but um, after trying and failing to correct the pedal issues, which by the way, you want to see my nice pedal with my nice wires, trying to fix those pedal issues um, using resistor values and it just didn't work. Um, so I decided to do what I do best and, well, maybe it's not what I do best, but, well, anyway, uh, I decided to edit the firmware on the pedal. Well, first I had to do math and I haven't done math in a while. Um, thankfully it hasn't changed much since I did it last time, so uh, I was still able to do it. Uh, and I discovered that the values that the, uh, unmodified pedal are producing, um, if I take those values, the hexadecimal values, well, I, I converted them to, to decimal first, because I'm not good at doing hexadecimal math on paper. But uh, anyway, did a bunch of calculations and came to find out that they were all about uh, 1.5 times too small. Or that is to say, if I took the value that it reads and I multiply it by 1.55 it gets very very close to what I would expect and that applied to the low and high values of both channel 1 and channel 2 so I didn't have to do any translation all I had to do was take the value and multiply it by 1.5 which I tried to do that first uh, the way that I usually would, which is to use to, to convert the integer into a floating point, multiply it by 1.55, and then, uh, oh, well, hopefully he's not after me, uh, <laughs> uh, multiply it by 1.55, and then um, uh, cast it back to, a, to an integer, but uh, apparently the way they compile it, they don't have floating point. And then people pointed out that the floating point on the STM32 is a little sluggish. So um, I just uh, I just multiplied it by a thousand and then divided it by a thousand, turned it into an integer calculation. Um, which if you'd like to see exactly what I did. Adjust is the function that I created that alters the value. See, it multiplies it by essentially 1,560, 1, and then divides it by 1,000, so we can do it integer-wise, and then we wrap the reads. So at no point is the incorrect low value ever even acknowledged or stored in a variable um, within the code, and as far as the pedal knows, um, it's, it's reading the value we expect. Now that we've made it to this point, uh, we should not be far away from, actually, I mean, I've got it plugged in to the, uh, uh, to the giraffe right now, so I should be recording the uh, CAN bus values, which I'll be able to analyze in Cabana. And, um, I don't know. I, it could be days away from having from having it starting to control the longitudinal. That's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. So, anyway, uh, thanks everyone for your support, and thanks for watching.